When all the kids have gone, it's like, now what do we talk about? Have you had that? or? Well, you it... do. I mean, yes and no. I mean, I think we have a lot of respect for each other. And she knows that uh, we've kind of, you know, you learn a lot about yourself as you get older. If you examine yourself, which you need to, not physically, but if you examine <laughs> yeah. who you are, then I think you realise, OK, you, you perhaps need different things anyway. Okay. You know, and she certainly likes talking more than I do about things. I mean, yeah. I like talking, but I like talking superficially. OK. <laughs> she, like a lot of women I know, likes talking about actual real things, which I would rather do anything right. than talk about... What do you mean, emotions? Emotions and... and actual things going on. I'm really happy. If you want to talk to me about a new video game, I'm your man. Oh. If you want to talk about problems in your life, I'm okay. sitting there going, please, let me get oh, out of this needs, room. She needs to come on here. She could yeah, come on here right. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's, quite, all your she's quite shy, my wife. I don't really have any. But she's quite shy, my wife, and she's quite anxious. So, you know, and, yeah. so, and we're different in that way, cos obviously I have next to no filter. So we're not always... A great mix but yeah. I think once you learn to accommodate each other that's that's the way to do it that's good mm. you know it's interesting because I would never think of her as being shy because or anxious because she's such an incredibly accomplished person we, we were talking earlier about you know that fear that you get if you you know walking into a room and, and not having a wee drinky beforehand just because that's what yeah. I need to do is have a little glass of something bubbly just to get my comfort I heard it wasn't up. such a little glass that yeah. you <laughs> Well, if you just keep topping it up, yeah, no one yeah, ever, yeah. No no one one ever knows. knows. Um, how do you cope with that now? Because you, you stopped drinking years ago, didn't you? Well, I, I didn't drink for years. You know what? I and then I started drinking again, and then I stopped again because I realised, A, I don't particularly like drinking. I don't think... You see, so when I'm you lucky. say drinking, do you mean a wee drink or mean drinking? No, the problem is, if I'm drinking, I can really drink. Right, I mean, so I would, you're a drinker. I could just play off, I could do, like, two bottles of wine on my own easily and I'd still be standing, but I didn't really enjoy it. And it's right. like, I didn't... But, I mean, I quite, you know, I, I would quite enjoy something. It, it makes social gatherings easier. Mm. I think that's why yeah. a lot of us drink you out and then it's there but i also gave up, i think it was self-preservation because in our line of work as you know after almost every show there'll always be some free wine if you want it yeah. and you you just find yourself drinking out of habit rather yeah. than mm. through choice and pleasure so i just find it easier not to do, do it do you think you're different now that you don't drink um, I'm probably, uh, maybe, maybe, I'm not really that different. I think I'm probably mm. a little less sociable in the evening and stuff, but that's fine yeah. because it means I want to be home with my wife and then we can, you know, uh, and avoiding talking to her rather than be out avoiding <laughs> talking to other people. But you look different. Maybe that is partly giving up the beer, but also I've been on this diet and so, you, you know, look I don't... Good. Yeah, you thank look you fantastic. very much. You're very you kind. Do. Jonathan, when you were a teenager, did you ever get so crazy drunk that you went out and redecorated the dining room? <laughs> <laughs> That's Aww. the dullest crazy teenager I've ever heard about. Do you know, I did crazy the wrong way around. I waited yeah. till my 30s, uh, and then it kind of all came out! Yeah, and then yeah. you redecorated the dining room. <laughs> <I really did. laughs> Do you know, I painted the town all shades of red. It was yeah, terrible. But, you know, I, don't, I, I like seeing when people are having a good time, and I don't mind being out with people who are drinking. My wife likes a cocktail sometimes in the evening, yeah. and that's great, and my kids sometimes drink. So if you're out with them and they're having it, it's not like I'm sitting there going, oh, stop drinking, why are you drinking, I yeah. shouldn't okay. be drinking. You know, it doesn't bother me. It's just that it's, a, it's easy to make the choice, but as long as you're comfortable with it. Yeah. Otherwise, you are sitting there, so I don't feel like I'm denying myself anything. What about your guests? Do you serve them drinks in the green room? Yeah, we do give them drinks if they want it. I mean, a lot of people don't. It's interesting, you'll notice that the American celebrities tend to be much more guarded. Anyway, yeah. they're much more media trained. I think they're much more schooled in not, you know, really not giving stuff away. So often they would, they won't drink just because okay. they're worried about making it. Whereas the English people, they get hammered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a guest that has got? Oh, loads of times. We've had loads of people who are like on, really then. out of it. I'm just trying to remember. I mean, you know, well, like Johnny Vegas obviously acts it as well as does it. Yeah. But we've had. People, I'm just trying to think who I can say safely. Um, <laughs> I probably can't. But we have had people who have been like really, really. Oh, like what well, were you thought? Were you like thought they're not going to even make it onto the show? Or? No, not so much that. I'm just trying to remember who it might be now. I mean, there've been a few times where you think you, you've been interviewing and thinking you're being a bit you're strange, being a bit... and then you realise, oh, you're you're you're, really you're pissed. Drunk. That's yeah. what's going on here. <laughs> Do you know, I once interviewed someone who I won't say whose name it was, but they were so drunk and their false eyelashes had fallen down here, I wow. thought she was having a stroke. Wow. And, uh, and then realised, oh no, you're just drunk. Okay. <laughs> Ed Sheeran came on the show and I got saw hammered. That one. Yeah. He got hammered and so it's did fun. and Lewis Hamilton got drunk with him. Really? Yeah. That was a good show. Yeah, but I've never seen That's Lewis drunk mix. before. He really, was yeah. really flying afterwards. He was like <laughs> hugging people and kissing everyone on the lips afterwards. I think he wasn't driving. I hope he didn't go. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now, listen, there's two of us here who have actually been on your show before. Mm -hmm. um, the two yeah, A-listers, yeah. 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 Oh, get lost. It's slightly awkward, <laughs> obviously, for the rest of us. There you go, there's Cole, you've yeah. been on. <laughs> Colleen's um, been on more than... She was on a show of mine years ago when I had you on with your sister. Last yeah. year. So. Years ago, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's and a bit of flirting going on there. Think so. Did you see it? Look at her yeah, eyes. Yeah. Look at it. What, me? Did yeah. you? <laughs> Jonathan, did you feel the chemistry that day? It wasn't so much the chemistry, it was a hand on my knee that was there. <laughs>
<laughs> and yet you keep coming back. I keep coming yeah. back for more. And Katie, you've obviously been on a couple of times. A few times. Few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I coming back then? Well, you can come back if you want. Well, you haven't invited me. Well, uh, well, I'm I... not an A-lister anymore then. Oh. Well, I wasn't anyway, but I'm just saying. <laughs> she might not be an A, but she's a double G. <laughs> she's a double G-lister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kate. No, you know, I must. I mean, I kind of, I kind of follow the teams guys on who yeah. they're having oh, on, and we build the show around. Joking? Yes. I, know, I was only joking. Oh, very good. Well, Kay and I haven't been on yet, but you know, oh, I'm you auditioning know. hard only... here. Yeah. Well, you okay. know, you've got to have a dream, girls. Yeah. <laughs> We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces, and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.